In the name of the living and loving God, who is Creator, Christ and Holy Spirit. What is the purpose of our lives? It's really interesting that that's an issue here in scriptures, and it's also connected to I don't know, what we're talking about in that class on Tuesdays at 1030. What is the meaning of life? What, what, what is the purpose of our lives? And I guess it really depends on where we are in the stage of our lives. I mean, you know, we start out as children learning about relationships and responsibilities and opportunities. We go through learning, through education, and um, learning and developing a body of knowledge about the greater world, the greater communities, things that have happened, learning more about just sort of the way things have been created and developed. Oh, after, in young adults sometime, whether it's after college or not, people usually start thinking about, okay, how am I gonna make a living? So they focus on vocation, trades, something like that. Then maybe fall in love, then maybe have children. Then maybe start collecting things. I'm at, I'm at getting, um, collecting possessions. Um, and that's where, that's where we tie into these scriptures here. In Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, 2,500 years ago, he said, For all their days are full of pain, and their work is a vexation. They're doing all this work, it's, it's a hassle. Even at night their minds do not rest. And this also is vanity. From Psalm, the wickedness of those who put their trust in their goods and boast of their great riches. And let me be quick to say here, in these scriptures, it's really not saying that, um, it's not saying primarily that uh, the rich are bad and the poor are good. It's saying that as those people who gather things together out of a sense of greed, that's what we need to guard against. Because there are plenty of poor people who are greedy, and there are plenty of rich people who are tremendously generous. But the greed is what scripture is talking against. And in the gospel, take care, be on your guard against all kinds of greed, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. And then Luke goes into, goes into that parable. And the ending line is this. So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves, but are not rich toward God. What is the purpose of our lives? Well, there's a transition and sometimes there's a crisis in our adulthood. And sometimes it's a very good crisis because for a lot of people that's when they switch from this question, what is the purpose of our lives, to another question, what is God's purpose for my life? And for some people it might be the same thing, but for most of us it's not. What is God's purpose for your life? What is God's purpose for our lives? Moving back in time in Galatians, do not, let, do not lie to one another, seeing that you have stripped off the old self and with its practices have clothed yourselves with the new self. Of course, that's a reference to baptism taking off one set of principles in which we live and putting on another one, a new one. You fool, this very night your life is being demanded of you and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves but are not rich toward God. Not rich toward God. Christ is all and in all. I think these scriptures encourage us, again, pro 
us adults, I mean, some very younger adults go through the same crisis, go through the same time of revelation, of realizing where they are in their spiritual journey and how God is leading, guiding, and calling them into this place or that place or this activity or that activity. But a lot of us have to go through this other part first and sort of get to the point that we realize exactly what's being said here is the real essence of a good life is not based in how much we have, whether it's bigger or more or better. It's really based, it's really based in who we are. And the point of these scriptures is that, and stated lots of places, is that God wants us primarily to do two things to be focused on our relationship with God. It keeps coming up. But God wants us to love God and to listen to God. And God wants us to love others, not to focus on ourselves all the time, and certainly not live in that place of greed. It's a hard thing to do in this society, in this culture, which is pushing us to do quite the opposite, to buy to consume, to get as much as we can. But all of us are here on a Sunday morning because we're really sort of wanting to develop something a little bit different, a little bit more. I think we're sort of looking at this strange phrase of uh, how can we be rich toward God, if you want to use that word. How can our lives be enriched and be rich in the way we relate to God? That's, that's basically what we work on every single Sunday and probably every day of your lives as you follow your own spiritual journey. And what we believe in the church is one way is that we can help each other do that. We can help each other do that. I wonder if that might, that whole question, what is, what is God's purpose for us? That would be a wonderful thing for people to share with each other because I'm sure the journeys are different. And yet at the same time, it's the same journey. There's a lot that we can learn from each other. But there's a lot that we can learn from God, too, just listening to God. We've talked a lot about that here. How can we as individuals, how can we in groups help each other be still and listen and discern the voice of God? I think there's a reason that that keeps popping up in the lectionary because it's so central, has been so central for people of the faith throughout the ages. And so the question I want you to live with for two minutes, and I hope this week, is that question, what is God's purpose for my life? What is God's purpose for my life? And if things start to bubble that are negative, I want you to dump those, because that's not going to be God's purpose for your life. And if things don't come immediately, I want you to be patient and keep asking God, what is your purpose for my life? And if you seem to get an answer at some point during this week, I invite you, if it feels appropriate, to share it with somebody you really trust. What is God's purpose for your life? What is God's purpose for my life? Please sit with that in a sacred space for two minutes.